today I'm going to talk about my Hermes Victoria 2 in 35 cm. Uh, let's do the measurement very quickly. It's 35 cm in length. So 35. And then 23 cm in height. Approximately. And then 16 in depth. And on the bottom, you can actually see five feet with the stitching clearly shown in white. And this is a very special way that they stitch the Victoria. Okay, uh, this particular bag is in the color Utope. And uh, people call it the, the elephant gray. Um, it's like a brownish gray color to me. It's more like a brown color than a gray color, I think, but it's categorized uh, as a gray color in MS. And people, when you ask people what the color you taupe is, they would say it's a gray, uh, but I think it's kind of like a brown. Um, so, and it's in palladium hardware, that's silver hardware, and in Togo leather, I believe, if not Clemence, but I think it is Togo. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so now I'm going to show you um, the close-up and here you can see the stitching more clearly, uh, the white stitching and the zipper part is very interesting for this bag because it looks like this. So what you do is you take this out and then you will see MS here and here on the two zipper and then you will also see Hermes right here. This is actually a, a special lock closure uh, pretty suitable for luggage bags or like uh, carry-ons so I'm gonna close it again and I'm gonna show you how you can put the lock on. So this bag comes with a lock like this and after putting the zipper into this little thing that sticks out you can hook the lock put the lock through the hole right here and then you can close it like this but if you use it as a day bag um, or just like a regular handbag I don't suggest you locking it, your bag like this because then it will take a lot of effort to unlock it every time you have to take things in and uh, take things out and put things in so I'll just leave it like this I won't even hang the lock here because it's a bit too heavy it might scratch the leather if I leave it on so now I'm going to show you the inside of the bag you can see it is a canvas in interior canvas lining and here you will see a leather tag with MS Paris made in France printed in silver because of the palladium hardware. And on the back of this, you will find the year stamp. And in this particular bag, it is O in a square. That's 2011. I bought this bag around three years ago when it was, uh, you know, pretty new, uh, this color. Um, and so i was very happy that it uh turned into it became a permanent color uh, afterwards so here i'm going to show you the pockets and uh, there's a very big zipper pocket on one side and two open pockets on the other side where you can put your phone and everything here and there's piping here and piping all around and on the bottom you see the stitching exactly the same as um, the stitching you see on the bottom the pattern is the same okay so let's close this and I'm now going to measure the drop of the bag and talk a little bit about the handles so the drop of the handle is 22 cm so I think it is a bag very suitable to uh, be carried on your shoulder as well as on the crook of your arm I would say uh, for me when I use this bag and carry this on the crook of my arm, the whole bag seems a bit too long. And it would be just right uh, when I carry it on my shoulder. So that's just my opinion. Uh, and but then if you are taller, 
Um, I'm 5'5", five five, so if you're taller, uh, you may uh, not find the same problem and you might find it uh, you know, suitable. But I would say it's a bit long when I'm carrying it on the crook of my arm. Um, so I normally just carry it on my shoulder. And speaking of carrying this bag on my shoulder, uh, here comes the problem of this bag. Now the problem of this bag is that it is pretty big because of the size of it, it is quite heavy. And especially when you put things in. I normally won't put a lot of things in my bag, but um, still, I find it very heavy. I find it, some, sometimes it's very heavy. So the other day I was walking around Causeway Bay with my friend and we were basically just shopping and walking around and I was carrying this bag the whole day and by the end of the day, my shoulders were sore. I was actually like changing sides all the time and still it was, it was too heavy and I told myself never, never, to carry this bag when I'm just shopping or so when if you're driving or if you're just going to work and then you're gonna put down your bag for the day and then you're not gonna use it carry it again until the end of the day when you get off work then this is a perfect bag but if you're going to carry a bag for the whole day or for a very long time then I really do not suggest using this bag for that day so um, that's just my opinion but if you're very strong and if you have very very strong shoulders and you know never feel sore then um, that this would be a good bag for you um, I think this is a very nice bag because of the zipper closure you can basically throw everything in and nothing will come out nothing will drop uh, nothing will fall out uh, and it's very easy to take things out and put things in uh, with the double zipper so because you don't have to zip all the way from one end to the other you can just you can just unzip it on one side and just stick your hand in uh, so that's very easy in terms of um, accessorizing the bag now um, it comes with a um, clochette with two keys and uh, of course with the lock and this is what I do I just hang the lock on the other side uh, some people say that it's not a very good idea because this this is actually not very um, th like thick so it might break if you do it for too long it might eventually break but i don't know where else i can put it so i'm just gonna put it here for now and after purchasing this this bag one day i was walking around in those secondhand stores and i found this and i asked the sales associate if this is the color etope and she said yes so i bought it and at that time i didn't uh i wasn't carrying my bag so i couldn't compare the color but when i took it home i found that this is not exactly the same color but later on i learned to like it um probably because it's a different material a different leather so it comes in like a slightly different shade of etope i think it is a etope or a taupe i don't know um but anyways i think it's 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 good enough and uh it's actually now that i think of it it's actually better if it's not exactly the same color but a slightly different shade so this tassel can stand out uh, by the way this tassel is called carmen and you can see um ms paris right here it's actually a keychain but i'm using it as a charm um so this is how I, I do it because this clochette is a bit long if I just hang it like this, right? So uh, what I do is I hang my Carmen here and I do this and hold on and then this will come over here. Basically like this. Uh, there are times when this looks better but anyways yeah so so this is how this is how I, I tie it kind of I think it gives it a more feminine look and uh, because this bag I think is suitable for men and women I think uh, you know after putting this tassel it gives it a more feminine look and I like it so um, in terms of price this particular one uh, if you buy from an MS store, it's around 5,000 USD. 
and it comes in actually two sizes. This is a smaller one in Victoria too. This is a 35 cm, and it comes in 40 cm, uh, which is 43 cm length, 28 in height, and 21 in depth. Um, and that one, uh, Victoria 240 cm, is around 5,800 USD. Now that one, it's really like a three-day travel bag, so I don't see it. Uh, being used as a day bag or a purse um, but this one I can totally see someone you know using it as a, like an overnight travel bag uh, and a purse uh, like a carry-on for when you are traveling so um, the besides the size uh, the other thing that's different is that the bigger one uh, Victoria 240 is uh, actually actually has shorter handles so the drop is actually like it's it's like the handles are stops right here around so it's not uh, that long the handles so you can't you cannot actually uh, put it on your shoulder use it uh, wear it on your shoulder so you can just carry it by hand um, that one but then this one you can do both I think it is a back I think that that one the Victoria 240 is more suitable for men uh, and this one's more suitable for women, although this is more like a unisex bag, I would say. It's one of uh, the very nice unisex bags uh, in MS, where men and women both can use it without looking a bit, you know, I don't know. I wouldn't say weird, but then sometimes, you know, for like a Birkin or Kelly, it's quite obvious that it's like a, a women's bag. Uh, but then, although I see some men uh, styling it uh, very nicely, and they look very, very nice with... Uh, they go very very nice with their outfit um, but most of the time you will see women using a Kelly or a Birkin or, or other MS bags um, uh, that you know uh, MS is famous for but then this one I would say um, it's it's a true unisex bag for MS so I really like it uh, it is a bulky bag it is a bulky bag uh, so you can see some scratches here and then there uh, there's none on the back and yeah a little bit of a coloring here like a black uh, so it's it's slouchy so it doesn't really keep its shape um, and I kind of like it slouchy because if it's really structured then it will make it even more bulky and so that's that's that so I, I, I you know I Overall, I quite like this bag. It's my husband's favorite bag in my collection, although he will never use it because um, he doesn't use handbags. So that's all for my review. I would say uh, I recommend it if you have a lot of things to put in your bag and sometimes if you have uh, to travel on business, uh, like for business, then you know, if you have to uh, leave town for like one day or two days then this is a very good bag to use uh, it's pretty heavy I would say if you fill it up and uh, if you have someone to carry it for you and it's a nice one because your your husband or your boyfriend just can just carry this bag and it they won't look like they're carrying a women's handbag of course you know you might have to take the tassel or your accessories out if you decide to tie a twilly bow here you know you might have to take it out and then they can carry your bag for you know uh, for the rest of the day uh, without looking weird so that's one good thing about it um, the trade-off is it being pretty bulky and heavy uh, it's a very very nice shape um, I like the double zipper design because uh, if it's single zipper, then you have to zip all the way from the sides because it's the, this bag is pretty wide. Uh, you know, it, it might you know be a bit difficult for you to be carrying the, your bag with one hand and then using and having to use another hand to unzip the bag. So if it's right in the middle and then you can unzip it, it's more convenient. So I think it's a very good design. It's very nice and uh, the canvas lining is taking out some of the weight uh, heavy weight of the bag so I think it's a good call for using canvas lining and so that's it and so please check out my Pinterest account uh, the next video I'm gonna do my garden party TPM and uh, like this video if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave me a comment if you have any questions thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time bye